Hello, hello. Uh, well, welcome back. This is uh, tutorial number four or five, I think, on arrays. And uh, today we're going to be talking about arrays. That was a surprise. So let's start by making a class, public class array. <coughs> and we're going to make the, the main function void main with the usual parameters and now we're gonna start with race da there we go we're gonna start with arrays and first we're gonna start by talking about what is an array an array is a block of data that is sequential in memory and uh, of da data of the same type so for example uh, let's see here I have a bunch of let's call these mailboxes at a post office right and these mailboxes uh, represent elements in my array and I can put stuff into the mailbox and that will be the value of the that uh, of that array element and this array element can be anything. It can be a boolean, an integer, a double, a float. Uh, one of your own classes that you made it can contain boxes, it can contain dogs, it can contain whatever. But basically all it's doing is this is sequential in memory. So all the computer has to do, why is it easy for the computer? The computer has to remember the first, the pointer to the first element, right? Where this element is located and then the size of the array and it doesn't have to remember the location of all of these individual elements it can calculate it using a formula so that's why it's easier for the computer too when you have large blocks of data now so we can put in data here and the only tricky thing about arrays is that they start at index 0 so index 0 is our um, index 0 is the first element in the array so this in this case 2 2 would be at index 0 this is uh, index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 etc 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 so here is our array right and we can actually make it multi-dimensional by doing so let's say what what is a multi-dimensional array in fact it's it's a bunch of you can imagine it as being a bunch of arrays stacked on top of each other as a matrix as uh, whatever you want so let's frankly okay here's our multi-dimensional array this is by three three by three array and we can refer to an element in this array by its two indices by the horizontal indice and the vertical indice so uh, uh, vertically let's say um, oops let's oops come on let's call this uh, zero next one one and this this one is two right and then the horizontal indices are the same so so here in fact is our indice chart and we can move it over a little bit so you can see better better so element 0 0 is here element 1 0 is here element 2 0 is here etc 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 so here's our multi-dimensional array and we can put stuff uh, for example if we put stuff into element 1 1 then we all we do is we plug this into here and perfect we have we have all our need so I'm gonna just copy this and put it outside of our class actually we, do, we don't need this for now so now let's look at a real application of or not necessarily a real application but one application of what arrays can do and perhaps we'll do some more stuff with arrays too but here's the quick and dirty um, thing so I drew a little picture here and the picture is of a tic-tac-toe board where I label the squares and the idea is we ask the user, we prompt the user for a number, the user enters a number and then we use this board to tell which uh, square of 
the tic-tac-toe board that we're going to draw we will populate with an X and this, this can be then further extended into an tic actual tic -tac game of tic-tac-toe but I'll just show you the basic um, the basic framework for uh, making this work so first of all we need in we need a choice that the user will make we need to prompt them for the choice so we um, print oops, please enter a number so we prompt them for the choice and then we need to um, read the choice so we make a scanner called SC uh, and this is a uh, new scanner system in so import uh, java.util.scanner so uh, we make a scanner uh, from system in and then we uh, actually we just we can even 